everlasting God, we have gathered in this place of worship for a significant moment of worship. As we begin, we remember that in your wisdom you have placed individuals and families, families and communities, communities in cities, cities in counties, counties in states and states in nations. We remember especially today those individuals you have called in our city, our county, and our state to be your servants. We express our gratitude to you for every officer who awakens each morning to protect the individuals and laws of our nation, never knowing what the day might bring. We are here today to express our gratitude to you for those officers who have made the ultimate sacrifice of their life in their service to their fellow human beings. And we are here today to trust you with the grief of those individuals and families and colleagues impacted by the loss of these we are honoring today. You have told us to cast our cares upon you, for you do care. And so we cast those cares and trust your care as we gather in this place to worship you. In the name of the one who came not to be served, but to serve, we pray this and all our prayers. Amen. Amen. On behalf of the town of Rockville and the Rockville Police Department and all our brothers and sisters in the Rockville community, I'd like to personally welcome each and every one of you here to this annual Floyd County Floyd Memorial Service. I'm glad to see each one of you here in attendance today as we remember our fallen officers who have given that ultimate sacrifice for you and for their fellow officer for everyone's safety and to help preserve this great freedom which we all have come to know and love. As I read in a recent FBI report the other day, I noticed there were 47 officers who were killed feloniously in the line of duty this year nationwide. That was for that past year, 2012. The only good thing about that number is it was a 35% drop in the officers that were killed from the 72 that were in 2011. But this still was 47 who shouldn't have lost their lives. In this profession, we understand the responsibility and duty that we all have to our fellow man. That's what this memorial service is all about here today. John 15, 13 says, Greater love hath no man than this, for a man that lie down his life for his friend. Let us never forget these sacrifices our fellow officers have given and the wives and children that they have left behind. And let us not forget all of our officers who have passed during this past year. Thank you for being here with us and for us today as we remember our fallen officers. On behalf of all federal, state, and county, and local law enforcement officers who perform their duties in Rowan County, I welcome you to our annual Peace Officers Memorial Service. April the 9th, 1985, and October 3rd, 2001, <coughs> are dates that are forever etched in my heart. These are dates that two of my classmates from how we control basics because we were killed in the line of duty. I have stayed in touch with the parents of Trooper Harmon. Mr. Frank Harmon, who is now deceased, grieved for his son every day of his life after the tragic event. Miss Harmon continues to grieve for her son and has always appreciated the support of law enforcement officers who have stayed in touch with her. On June 17, 2008, Trooper Sean Blanton was killed in the line of duty. I had the high honor of traveling to Washington, D.C. to attend the National Memorial Service with the widow of Trooper Blanton. I saw firsthand experience the importance of the Peace Officer Memorial Services and how they are essential to the healing process as follows the loss of a law enforcement officer. Unfortunately, not all can travel to Washington each year, but I'm grateful we can 
all gathered here to pay tribute to our fallen <coughs> comrades. Today I'm especially grateful to be able to pay tribute to fallen Spencer police officer Robert Young Clement, who served our agency with distinction and paid the ultimate sacrifice. <coughs> officer Clement, you will live forever in our hearts. And I know that you would be so proud of your son Bobby who is here today. Mary Police, Officer Wiley B. Lamb, September 10th, 2012. Salisbury Police, Sergeant Mark Hunter, April 18th, 2013. These two men did not lose their lives in the line of duty but they were active duty officers who have left a great vacancy, not only in the police department, but in our hearts. But in their vacancy here, they are fulfilling a place that has been prepared for them by their almighty God. <laughs> 